Okay, finally we're going to study now how to run a number of simulations in a row, not just like type changing numbers here, but creating a table where the all properties would be listed and then the simulation would uh, run all these cases. And this is called in HSC uh, sim, it's called uh, remote control, but you could call it as a scenario builder. First of all, we're going to look of where these input values are pointing or where they are, how they work. So if you look these blue values, which are your input values, they all seems to refer to splitter and or. And splitter means that it's this unit and or means that it's the page of uh, uh, or page in the splitter file. So if we double click now the splitter and go to or, we see that there are the same parameters as in this table are here, but they are just horizontal. So how does it, this work? So for example, if we change now bond work index to 12, you see that the values are actually then changing here. And the simulator itself, it sort of takes, it takes the values here. All right, now we're gonna create here the table where the properties will be the, these properties will vary from one row to another and we're going to ju just test the case of if we change the grain size of iron oxide to vary from 80 to 90 uh, 80 to 120 microns and otherwise the mineralogy would be identical so i'm copying these values here now uh, the aim is that when, if we change the value of this cell, this would be then pointing out to the row where these, these values will be taken. So number two, if changing number two, the aim is that then these values would be actually taken from row, row number two. And we're going to use for that is Excel function index index the first parameter is range and the second parameter is row number now it's pointing to now row number two it's 90 if we change this to number three it will take refer to row number three etc before go uh, before copying this over we're gonna put make this uh, fixed reference and now we copy this right hand side and therefore here the reference is also to A2. And now uh, these values are identical but of course you can make cases where these values would change and be uh, individual in each of these lines. They could represent different blocks now, how we can use this table now? We close this one and we go to File, Report and to a page Remote. The remote control works in a way that you can put the two different kind of cell references. The cell references are here and they point out to part uh, in the simulation. Set values are the ones which will be uh, changed and the get values will be read reading from the simulation. So if we put here now that the this first one is referring to the row, what we have there, that one which we just organized. So this is the ID value reference. And if we put now this vary from one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna put it again one two three four five each time we're gonna run five simulations and they wanna first of all we're gonna uh, send the material to line number one and then the second simulations set of simulation we're gonna send it to the line number two so once we now take remote run remote control it will take each uh, set values and change these ones and then it's uh, gonna run the simulations five rounds and then it's gonna read the value back 
And what we're going to see here that once we change the from 1 to 5, the magnetite grain size is increasing. We see that it has a positive effect of iron recovery. That makes sense. Uh, when we uh, said feed the material into line number one. So when we say se send the material to line number two, there's a similar kind of effect, but we overall see that the recoveries are lower than in the line number one. So at the same time, we learned also that with this kind of mineralogy, line number one would be more beneficial. And this is the way how you can now test a big number of cases and different parameters and finding out what are the uh, what kind of uh, re uh, response the process will give give you uh, you can also increase these get values uh, uh, but this should be basically enough hopefully this will uh, help you go uh, through the uh, project and good luck in that